welcome everybody back to my channel today happy sunday i am coming in today with a book review this is um true style by glenda k harrison and so i want to come in with a review of the book as well as talk a little bit about how this has transformed some of my own um items and pieces that I'm deciding to keep or not to keep in my wardrobe. Um, and especially because as I continue to lose weight, some of the things I've made obviously are getting a little big in certain places. And as you all know, I am not one to um, do alterations and things like that. But first, before I get to that, Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, to all of your support, your words of encouragement, and all that good stuff, and for sharing. Those who are sharing um, for the BHM Pattern Designers Sewing Challenge, which, which starts, you can start um, sewing, knitting, and posting, and tagging Myra and I starting February 1st through February 28th. Um, it has been an overwhelmingly, in a good way, response all across uh, social media. So we greatly appreciate it. Um, there have been a lot of questions about um, different patterns to use. Um, what I have, most of the questions were around uh, if I knew specific patterns by different pattern companies and different things like that. All of our sponsors that I shared have PDF patterns um, that you can um, purchase online. But I've also, and I'll pop up those pictures as I'm talking, have shared several posts, if you've been following me on Instagram, of um, throughout the week of our different sponsors and um, pattern ideas. But I've also created uh, a graphic that shows you specific patterns by uh, some of the commercial pattern companies and the vintage um, books you can use, all of that. So um, those popped up here. Feel free to pause the video or just go over to Instagram under Natural Dane um, or Myra Lane. Myra Lorraine, One So Sweet, and you will see um, all of that information there. But again, if you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to let us know. And also, one of the questions I did receive was if there was an um, African American model on the front, does that count? It does not unless the pattern was designed by an African American designer um, or a black pattern designer, or, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so let's get into this so, review. This book, as you all know, and I'll share the playlist. Let me try to put this up some so you can see the author name. And what I'll do is leave a link to her website down below as well as the link to uh, her book because you can purchase her book on um, Amazon. Um, but um, her book is just awesome 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 and how I came about reading this is if you remember um, uh, Nita by Design had uh, did a series of SWAP which stands for Sewing with a Purpose and so um, during that whole series um, she had this author on her blog and, um, and so I picked up the book I um, purchased the book and just going through these chapters was really just eye-opening. As you all know, during last year, and I have a playlist, I'll pop it up here, um, you'll see it in the iCards. Um, last year, I had these um, sewing fashionistas group here um, where I am in Texas. And so uh, we meet up every other month or met up last year every other month. And the focus last year was our, our um, style aesthetic and um, getting rid of things out of our closets, even our patterns that, that did not particularly fit our style or work with our style or our body types and different things of that nature, um, really, really good. And so to really cap it off with reading this book was awesome. So I took a few notes, so I wanna make sure I stay on task. And then I'll share with you, these are some things I pulled um, out of my closet that I will be donating. Um, you all know, if you follow me, you know, anytime I, I purge my closet, a majority of the things that I think are wearable, especially for work, goes to a charity at a local church that um, gives clothes to women who are finding their way back into the workplace. And then other things <clears throat> that are kind of, eh, um, I will go ahead and give them over to the, to the Goodwill. So, um, yeah, so make sure you check out that playlist if you're interested. But let me get into a couple of the things um, 
that Glenda talked about in her book. So she talks a lot about what style is. And um, it's not just about the way someone is dressed. And so it, while that might be very appealing, might be attracted to what a person has on, but she gets more into... Um, someone's style is more their story is more about who they are who who they are as a person and how they choose to represent themselves in the world so one of the um analogies she made is sometimes you you have an attraction to yes what somebody might be wearing what they might have on but truly you are attracted to their character is something about them. They have a story that you want to know more about. It's not so much, oh, that person dressed really nice. And, oh, ooh, she dressed nice. She dressed nice. It's usually, and there are several people I've seen in, in real life. I'm not just talking about online that um, I know personally that I'm like, yes, I either I know that person has a story or they they have a story I really want to know, meaning I want to get to know them more on a personal level instead of just this outer, outer shell. And, um, and so, and that she attributes to, um, that's then becomes more about their character, right? Now, so much the clothes that they have on the outside. And she described three types of, uh, dressers, either an expressionist, um, let's see if I pronounce this right, obligingist, oblig obligationist, I'm sorry, and, um, consumptionist. So where I found that I fall into was the obligationist so category. So I dress more utilitarian, meaning, okay, I know I have, have to get dressed uh, today. I'm just going to put on some clothes because I can't very well go out in the, into the world and functioning naked, <laughs> right? Um, there was no emotional connection to what I was wearing. It was just more, oh, I need to put this on and that on. And I'm covered and here I go. Um, and so, uh, that was definitely totally me. Um, and especially as I began to gain weight again, cause I've lost my weight before. I think I've lightly talked about this before. I've lost a hundred pounds before, but I've gained all that back It's going, getting back off now, but that going fluctuation like that, um, I definitely was just more utilitarian in my dressing. And so when I started sewing again, in the beginning of my sewing, I just sewed all the things, sewed everything. I would just want to sew. Oh, I saw that. I want to sew that. Ooh, I like that. I'm just going to sew, 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 which that also became very utilitarian, meaning, okay, I have this pattern. Oh, somebody sewed it. Oh, that looked nice. I'm just going to sew it too. And it didn't necessarily bring a connection for me, didn't bring it um, a holistic approach to what I was doing. And so now I, um, towards the end, I want to say of 2018, probably that last quarter, I probably say that was the time that I sold the most things that I really was, that I had a connection with. Um, and so from the jeans to the purse, to the coat, to the, um, um, uh, the, what did I, I would say from the Kimberly dresses on, because the Kimberly dress came first, then the, um, um, uh, what is it, Meghan Markle, the, that sewing challenged, um, yeah, I think from the, that point on, things felt, I felt a little bit more comfortable in, in my groove. One of the other things I've talked about is that I noticed for me, um, you all know I've made the Upton dress, cashmere Upton several times, and I made several scoop necks, but the first V-neck I made was the Meghan Markle, and I love the way that look. I love V-necks on me more so than anything scoop. Now, a t-shirt is a little bit different, but if it's going to be an entire dress or something that's going to drape over my body, I like it to start at a V. I'm discovering that. I'm also discovering that. I love solids. Now, I buy a lot of prints. And what I have discovered, for example, you all are very familiar with my um, Eve dresses. And maybe I'll stand up in just a second. Um, both of my Eve dresses are full print here, both of them. And these are being donated. And partly, be let me just say, partly the reason they're being donated is because they've gotten too big. And there's just too much fabric up in here and no again I'm not taking nothing in it can go to a better home <laughs> um, but one of the things is I've discovered I like to break my prints up I still like prints but either for the future 
you'll probably either see me breaking the print up somewhere or the print it'll be uh maybe a print up here solid on the bottom or depending on the style or something the opposite or something like that um or all solids with peaks and pops of bright colors and um prints um different things of that nature um and so yeah that is one big thing um that i have noticed um over as i've gotten comfortable with fit and different things of that nature that yeah i, I really and when i look at my pattern uh, my fabric stash rather um there are a lot of fabrics that i have that is all print and i'm like what am i gonna do with this but a bunch of tops or this that and other so i'm being more mindful with my um pattern uh fabric stash um as well and actually our sewing fashionista book um i'm sorry our group um is having a meetup next month um where we're continuing the whole style aesthetic and your style um and we are swapping out patterns um fabrics things of that nature um not clothes but just fabric and patterns i won't be able to go but look at this this is about 30 patterns that i actually will be sending off to Roz, the host who hosts the meeting for her to just set out because what the good thing is whoever don't take them i believe they get donated to a sewing school um students and different things like that um so yeah isn't that nice but anyway back to the book so um i loved how she really got into um the idea that you really take an inventory of who you are not who you want people to think you you are or trying to be something other people want you to be but you know who you are and how you want to represent yourself to the world um and and say you're you're I don't know, say you're a teacher, or say you're a ministry leader, say you are um, you work in, a, in corporate or nonprofit, or even if you're a stay-at-home mom, there there's just this, an aesthetic about you, what's comfortable for you, that, you know what, I, I like to wear this. And who cares if um, I like to get a little dressed up and all I'm doing is heading over to the grocery store or I'm just running a quick errand down the street. If that makes you feel just good and enlightens you and just gives you that mm, that 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 extra whatever it is for you then do it because that is you that is your character um and it really brings out of you what it is that's on the inside out right oops sorry about that and so um and so for me i characterize myself when just she talked about the different characters uh characteristics of a person in the book um i know for me personally i'm very outgoing pretty much who i am online i am in person except for in person because i'm just chatty 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 that's just me um and so <laughs> always been um like that because i grew up an only child for many many years so i always had to make a lot of friends uh, so um and very small family um and so for me you know my style of dress and who i and how i am in the workplace i'm probably um i'm very outgoing in a conservative way if that makes sense don't know how to describe that but i know in the way that i dress like i said very outgoing but might be a, maybe somewhat of a chic more still in my style aesthetic is the whole chic um look but there's going to be that pop of color to show that spark of personality and outgoingness and um uh, being an outrovert and everything like that if that makes sense not sure if that makes sense i'm telling you this book is so good i highlight it so look at all these um i don't know if you can tell but i highlighted so much in here i've got so many um um flags in here okay but, so um, for me with my style like i said i find that it is still relates to my style aesthetic that i talked about last year um um being classic chic with a little bit of drama that's definitely me i still love that i like that a lot and so in 2019 that will begin to emerge even more it will begin to uh, show up even more um yeah that that's just yeah that's definitely 
what is beginning to happen. And I will be sharing, I think next week I should be sharing my um, makes from the month of January. But yeah, and I'll talk, you'll see probably over the next, you know, few months, these things began to evolve. Um, okay, and, so and essentially all of that um, to say is that I think this is a very, very good book. If you are still maybe having thoughts or struggling about your style or how to put things into perspective about how, what it is that you know about you that you really really would like to express or bring out or you know how your clothes interpret who who you are as a person i would say this is definitely a great book um and again you'll learn that um style is 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 not so one-dimensional that ooh, what somebody have on but you know goes along with their character as well so i'm not going to spend a lot of time on these items that i'm donating but just wanted to show a few things to give you an example of what it is that I was just um, talking about. So I have a few dresses. Now this print for me is fine as an example. However, this is now too big. This is my um, AK pattern Samantha dress, but it's too big now um, for me. Um, but I do like this print. So a print this size, I'm totally fine with all over um, a garment. Um, my Eve dresses, which I love, but it's, I probably wouldn't do a print this size all over in a future piece. Um, it will be broken up. And also I've discovered this is a high low. High lows on me, now that I've discovered, either it needs to be cut off right below my knee or it needs to be a, a full maxi. So having a high in the front and low in the back doesn't quite look good on me the way I would want it to look so um but these are too big anyway now so where it's just too just just too much in here um here is my one Upton that I did um if you all recall my um fit video but it's the scoop neck and I tried it on again um the last time I wore it I was like no no I don't like the scoop neck especially after I wore a few v-necks <laughs> yes we are, so that is being um, donated. And then, oh, you guys know I made my pants. Remember my two pair of pants I made by AK Patterns and the Simplicity ones? I'm donating those, and mainly because they are just too big now. So I am excited about the weight loss, yay. Um, but um, yeah, they're too big. So I'm just gonna, I'm not altering anything. I'm just gonna donate them. So yeah, so it's a few things. Some of this is going to the Goodwill. Other other things like I think I mentioned earlier are going to charity. So that is it. That is all that I have today. Again, thank you all for all of your support uh, for the um, hashtag VHM Pattern Designers Sewing Challenge. If you have not considered joining in, please do go to my Instagram page and look at all the specific patterns that were listed to give you a head start. It does not cover every pattern on the market um, that's out there uh, from Black designers, but it's enough to get you going. And some of those you will probably have to search for on um, eBay and Etsy, especially the vintage. So that is it. Again, I highly, highly recommend this book. It was an awesome, awesome read. And so, yeah, that is it, everybody. You all have a fantastic Sunday. Um, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.